Good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to a very special Puppet News Update, all about dads. That's right, so originally we were going to bring you a story about a massive comet on its way to blow up the moon, but we decided instead to focus on what's really important, of course, that being Father's Day. <laughs> so, much like with our Puppet News Update, month when it was Mother's Day. Today, I wanted to ask a few very cute and special children what their favorite memory of their father is. And for those who are a bit smaller and maybe don't have quite as many memories, I wanted to ask them what they like to do for fun. So, with those two questions in mind, let's look at the children and see what they have to say about their wonderful fathers for Father's Day. <laughs> I love my daddy, and one night we have a movie night with him, with me and my daddy, and, and we had popcorn, and we watched Brother Bear. Bye. When me and him went over to a BYU game, and, B and so we watched a BYU football game, and BYU won. What did you like about it? that we could um like do cheer and like stamp our feet and we sometimes at halftime we like got snacks kind of i think i remember doing that i think we might have gotten a cougar tail it was really fun a silly memory of dad of my dad is when he brought me out into a into a hailstorm. I like to play Legos with Daddy. My my sister and my mom was on a bike ride, and I was learning how to ride a bike with my dad, and and we go for a couple blocks. In, when our, in our neighborhood, and um, we like, and the last block we did is when I want how, and um, we ride, and I ride a little bit more, and my dad um, got his bike, and we ride it together. And also today on Father's Day, we um, go on a long bike ride, and that's all. Uh, one of my favorite memories of my dad is when we would both go to the same Taekwondo place and eventually I outranked him, and I was very proud of that. I like to jump on a chaplain with daddy. Bye bye. I really. I, I just feel I like the bike ride that he, that we did this morning, and oh, I really liked. Um, we have a picture of it. That it's on his one of his birthday, and we had peach dessert, and then and then um, and me and Jack were just like staring at the peach dessert like this. It was so cute. I really like that, that memory. My favorite memory of my father is when we went to the snow with another family that we're friends with. And we laid in the snow and put snow over us, you know, like you would on a beach and turned us into mermaids. And once me and my friend got out, we turned my dad into Ursula. And it was pretty funny. We took pictures. And I'm also going to say something about my uncles. They don't have kids of their own, but they should be recognized too. They came out to the state that we live in. They don't live in the same state as us. And they spent the entire day just hanging out with me and giving me presents and stuff. And it was pretty fun. 
So one of my favorite memories, I have so many, including the time he was playing charades and he was being the Tasmanian devil and he was so committed to the role that he broke his toe, which was sad but funny. He made a very good Tasmanian devil. But one of my most favorites is from when I got married and we were doing the father-daughter dance, which is a tradition at weddings. And my mom had the camera all ready because she knows that my dad and I are the big criers in the family. If someone's gonna cry, it's gonna be one of us. And so she had the camera all ready to catch us crying. And my dad pointed it out. He's like, she's waiting for it. And I was like, yeah, she is, but we're not gonna do it. He's like, nope, we're not gonna do it. And we were dancing. And after a few minutes, he looked at me and he said, you know, all I wanted for you in a husband is to find someone who loves you as much as I love your mom. And you did is what he said to me. And I was like, I did. <laughs> and I started crying and he started crying. <laughs> and my mom got the picture that she was looking for. <laughs> I think it was inevitable that we were gonna cry. So that's one of my favorite memories of my dad. Happy Father's Day, Gaffer. Oh my, that last child was a bit old, wasn't she? <laughs> I suppose children can come in all ages because fathers can come in all kinds of ages. I mean, granted, fathers are not children. Fathers are adults. But everyone has a father, even grown-ups. So thank you very much for that contribution. <laughs> All right, now to end our puppet news update, since we already know fathers are the best, let's go ahead and do a little story time combo with our puppet news update. I would like to read to you, here it is, What Dads Can't Do. What a wonderful story for Father's Day. <laughs> All right, so let me see here, let's see. Oh, yes. What Dads Can't Do by Douglas Wood with pictures by Doug Cushman. Oh, they're both named Doug. Oh, so delightful. Huh. There are lots of things that regular people can do, but dads can't. Let's see what those things are, shall we? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Dads can't cross the street without holding hands. Dads can push, but they can't swing. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, let's see what else. Dads can't pitch a baseball very hard or hit one very far. Hmm. That's all right. That's all right. We appreciate their efforts. When dads play hide and seek, they always get found. But they have a hard time finding you. <laughs> oh, dads, they're so silly. They aren't very good wrestlers. Hmm. Looks like he pinned him. <laughs> dads lose at checkers and cards and almost every other game. They do try their best though, and we do appreciate that, don't we? Dads are not good at sleeping in late. They can't comb their hair or shave by themselves. They need your help. It's a good thing you are there. I don't know how they would get on without you. Dads like to go camping, but they need lots of help setting up the tent. and cooking. Add that ketchup. <laughs> That's the secret recipe that makes it delicious. Dads like to go fishing, but they don't like to go alone. Well, can you blame them, really? And they need extra practice baiting the hook. It's so nice of you to let them bait your hook as well. <laughs> All right, sometimes dads have a hard time getting organized. I wonder why that is. They can't drive very fast. Safety first, you know. Dads seem to have trouble holding on to their money for some reason. Hmm. Dads can't see you hiding your lima beans at dinner time or feeding them to the cat. <laughs> Isn't that lucky for us? <laughs> Let's see what's next. They can't eat just one piece of chocolate cake or one scoop of ice cream. 
Dads like to give baths, but they can't help getting all wet. <laughs> oh, silly, they're just so messy, aren't they? <laughs> Dads can't read a book by themselves. Dads really need to be kissed goodnight at bedtime. Give them lots of kisses. That's how they sleep well. Without those kisses, oh, they just wouldn't sleep well at all. Sometimes they leave a nightlight on because they're a little bit scared of the dark. They also like to check under the bed for monsters, just to be safe. And in the closet. <laughs> they don't want to risk anything getting in, right? Oh, they, just, they just need to be sure for their own peace of mind, yes. There are so many things that dads can't do. It's a wonder they make it through life at all. But dads can't give up. No matter how tired a dad gets or how hard life gets, a dad never quits. Never, ever, ever. Dads do not quit. And most of all, whatever happens, a dad never, ever stops loving you. The end. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful story. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers and grandfathers and great-grandfathers out there. You are so loved and so appreciated. And this day is for you. So make those dads feel special. <laughs> Toodle until next time. <laughs>